Beats, of course, it's not alive. Yes, crystals grow, but that does not make them alive. Living things have special orders for them. It's a study of biology. If something's alive, then we can see that it's a part of biology. It could be a fish, a frog, or a mule. It could be a teacher at your school. So how do we know if something's alive? I'll tell you, there are seven things it needs to survive. If something's alive, then it sells the vibe because of the actions of the nucleotide. It's not a rock, a stone, or a key. That would in geology. So how do we know if something's alive? There are seven things it needs to survive. It's got to grow. It's got to move and stay loose. It's got to eat. It's got to reproduce. It's got to respond to stimuli. It's got to breathe or it will die. Now the last one is kind of discreet. Look at all the cells, it's all part of life. DNA, molecules, <laughs> How do you know if something's alive? There are seven things it needs to survive. It's got to grow, it's got to move and stay loose. It's got to eat, it's got to reproduce, it's got to respond to stimuli. It's got to breathe or it will die. And the last one, it's a kind of discreet. Monkeys and dogs and pigs and 